Hey, what's going on guys? Richie Figs here back with another video and you can tell from the excitement in my voice. Oh, it's new figure day, baby. And <laughs> it's bittersweet to some degree. I mean, the sweetness being we found one of the new figures in M. Bison. Unfortunately, I was just, okay, so I had talked about how my target was going to get a shipment in and I didn't mention in the last video, if you are trying to find these guys, Again, go check out that video. I go over the best ways of finding these in your target before they hit the pre-order. Uh, it's got the DPCI, DPCI, UPC, all that good stuff. But I knew we were getting a shipment of these today. And I just, I don't know what happened. I lost track of time. I got there in time to get M. Bison, clearly, but I missed out on the Dalsim. Now, there are two separate cases that are being shipped out for this uh for this wave so one set actually comes with two m bison one dalsim the other one comes with two dalsim one m bison now clearly i missed the somebody was there ready to get the dalsim but didn't take the m bison because there were two there so my buddy picked up one i picked up one and uh yeah, the rest is history, but um, yeah, nothing, not much new here in the packaging, but man, you can't tell me when you see, when you're at Target and you see the side like that, you're not wondering like what figure that is. I, even though it says right there, it's so small, you can't really tell what it is, but then you flip it. Everything was, man, there was Fei Long and everything. And the, the real crusher was I even saw the Jada box and I checked it and it was empty. I was thinking maybe they just didn't put them all out, but it was empty, so yeah, we just missed out just barely, but, you know, to get one is fine enough for me. There's the UPC again. That is in my past video as well. These are not specific by UPC. So if you look it up by UPC, it can only tell you if they have Jada figures. It can't tell you which ones. So taking a look at the box, um, I want you to focus on something right there. See his eyes? See how they kind of have like a tannish hue around the pupil? I want you to pay attention to that because there's something I think we missed out on um later on in this video that we didn't talk about in the other videos so want you to take a look at that but yeah everything's the same here and then just a solo shot of M. bison on the back um they did that because there was some confusion in the release of the figures when they put all three on the back um i believe with the ryu and the fei long it had all three but Ch uh chun li did not actually release with the other figures, and there was a lot of confusion. People were freaking out that they couldn't find Chun Li. Little did they know they just she hadn't released yet. So that's a look at the packaging. Comes with two extra hands, extra head sculpt, and that purple fire effect. So that's the packaging. Now it's time to take a look at the figure. I'm excited. Our first big boy of the line. Let's go. And taking a look at M. Bison out of the packaging, and I, I'm in love already. Like, I love this figure immediately. It's so it's so nice just to get a little bit more substance with this one. Like, there's not a lot of difference between the Fei Long, Ken, and Ryu, as Ryu and Ken is more just like a head swap with different colored geese, and then Fei Long just is kind of along that same structure. This is our first, like more thicker boy of the of the line and it's very nice and you can definitely feel the weight in this one and he is bigger but not by much um and looking at the wikipedia it's, i don't know where else to check for street fighter height so that's where i looked he was 5'11 and i think ken and ryu are 5'9 five, 5'6 five, to 5'9 somewhere in there so he does as you can see have some size on him but not like tremendous amount like you'll notice a huge tremendous amount with like maybe Sagat and Blanca against these guys but he is thicker that's for sure like if you were to put like he's bulking out behind like you can just I, he's wider for sure like the arms definitely bigger like there's there's definitely some differences there but um and then we did get and yeah I put him in the open hand for his signature crossing his arms and um, all white eyes there, as you can see, all white eyes. And then he does have kind of that same texture alongside with the Ken, like that texture that from the Gi, and it's even on the hat too, which is really cool. Um, so I did take the cape, the cape off. Um, we'll take a look at that here in a second, just for figure posing purposes. It's a little bit easier. And it will also talk about these lovely things that you guys will soon become acquainted with as, uh, as you use this figure so um the nice thing about these little uh shoulder pads here is uh well for one let's get that let's get M. bison back to his neutral pose here uh yeah this guy is just he's nice and he's nice and like not loose or anything either one cool thing immediately is these are 
movable. So as you can see, it's got like a little bit of a lever action here um, that you can move them. Now, um, it's not like a stiff plastic either, but there is a little bit of movement there. So I don't know, like, could it eventually break? I don't know. I don't want to find out. <laughs> so just be careful. Uh, it, I don't feel like, like they're movable, but like, I don't know how long that could last. So, um, looking at everything here, let's do that. I wanted to show you obviously that these do move. So that's kind of cool. Um, bicep swivel right there, just like the other, he does have pinless double jointed elbows. See immediately. That's one thing that we're going to talk about is these things do pop off rather easily. Um, I don't know if it's just mine or if that's just kind of going to be the rule with this one is that they, you know, they're a little, they're a little particular. They're a little touchy, maybe a little touchy is the word that you want to go with. Like, like they don't just come off, but like during posing, you probably want to want to pose first and then put these on. So you don't have any issues there. Um, he does get double jointed knees, pinless, of course, can kick his own butt. Boop, boop, boop. And then, uh, does have some hinged wrists can go in. Get a nice little power pose there. I, like I rule the world. That kind of that kind of pose right there. I like that a lot. Uh, and then you can get that T pose. See, they don't just pop off. I mean, maybe it got there a little. I, I thought I heard it, but the nice thing is, is you can move these two. Like they are movable. So if you want to move them back a little bit to get out of the way, maybe give you see. But they, <laughs> if you're not careful, they are gonna pop off on you. They will pop off. So let's actually talk about those right now, seeing that we're making them, uh, we're, we're going to add one anyway. So funny thing about these is, again, they are very particular. They are very touchy and even come with their own guidebook on how to attach and remove these things. So yeah, uh, you're going to want to do like a, like a snap down feature on these, like go that way and then snap down. Now this right one I've noticed has had a little bit of issue with others and I can kind of see it because at, at least on mine, doesn't snap down all the way the way you want it. Like it snaps, but then it doesn't go as flush as you want it. And I tried heating it up, but it's not really like a huge issue. Like I said, they're both a little bit, a little bit touchy as far as movement. So um, let's take them off for right now, and then we'll take a look at this cape. The cape is actually not black. It's, I don't know if you can, that's probably a better lighting. It's a forest green, like a deep forest green, which is cool. And then we have some nice uh, brush gold on the buttons there, but we can put this on. And again, just to kind of show you, you put that face down, and then you'll snap. See, that one snaps on. These actually snap on. The, it's like the separate shoulder one, the ones. Don't quite get that snap that you like, but yep, there it goes. Snaps on good, and then wired caping, folks. We got wired cape. You want a cool brush to the side? You can get it brushed to the side, just like that. Like very, very cool. Very, very cool. So again, we'll show you how to just pull them up from the back side there. Pull up like that. Snap them off. Now those ones seem to snap on, and then they do have like little dummy letters there at the bottom to kind of tell you so this one's on the right so we'll come over here to the right move it like that and then like i said it snaps but it doesn't get as good a snap as i want to say the cape does so again just right there it's backwards be smarter than the snaps folks be smarter than the snaps snap it in see that one snaps in really good so there's the head sculpt on that one take a look as i shake the whole world with my table but uh very cool. Now, we, I thought they were all white eyes. They're not. They have that glowing yellow there, which is actually, um, if we look at the packaging, is correct. So that's kind of weird, isn't it? I didn't even notice that. Like, if you look close, get that. Yeah, like there's a little bit of a yellow eye pupil right there. But these aren't black. They're kind of like that. Let me see if I can get the good image there. Right there is probably about the best I can get it. You can see those little yellow eyes is accurate to the photo so very interesting that they got them in there it doesn't bug me like that's pretty cool um that they got in there i actually like that head sculpt a lot and then uh it does come with the open fist originally it will come with the fisted on there i just put that on there to kind of give them the arm crossing pose but let's get him in a quick pose show you what he's all about like i said um the only real con that I have with this figure so far is these things 
just can be a little touchy. That's that's really it. Um, let's get a good photo. Let's see if we see. And they are adjustable, though. So you can get them out of the way if you want to. You can move them anywhere you want. Let's get them in a little, little pose here as we get these double joinies up. Bring it up there. Get that head looking down. Get a big bear claw coming out here. Let's go like that, something like that. Ooh, gotta, gotta bring that fist in like that. And we'll get that, see, like that, right there. Perfect example. When So you probably wanna just take those things off. And then, uh, oh, I forgot to show you ankle rocker. Can go up that high on the boot, can go down that low. Not a whole lot of movement up here. Um, but um, yeah, so. And get them in a cool little pose here so something like that um let's see he's got a leg swivel too so i could do something like that like that and then like i said once you got him posed then you can just come back over here and then like i said we'll put it on go like that so you start up here push down snaps on and then something cool look we can even put that nice purple flame effect very cool just translucent, kind of like the other ones, a little bit smaller, but very cool. I actually like this. You could even put this on the Ken for his his little flame effect feature, but get something cool like that going, like that. Tilt that down just a little bit, so get like a, a mean little pose here, something like that. And he'll just stand. Look at that. Looks great, doesn't it? Then should we get a zoom in? Zoom in, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Doesn't get better than that. So a big bruiser. And I did, <laughs> I've heard other reviewers talk about, well, he just doesn't move quite like, he's just not as flexible as the Fei Long and the Dalsim and the, and the Ken and the Ree. Well, Durr, obviously he's a big bruiser. He's brute strength. He's not, it's like saying Rhino doesn't move like Spider-Man or Kingpin doesn't move like Spider-Man or Shao Kahn doesn't move like Scorpion. That's not their repertoire. Sure, he can move, but he ain't doing backflips, somersault. You know, he's not gymnasticking over here. He's just the big brute guy. He doesn't miss a chest day. Look at those arms. He's not missing an arm day. He's not missing leg day. He's he's doing it all, but like the the funny thing is he's this thicker dude. Like he's not gonna be as agile as a Ken or a Yu or a Fei Long. That's that's not his thing. So, um, yeah, but I do love this figure. On a one to ten, I am probably gonna put this at a solid nine. Like after messing with it and getting at, at one point, it was I think like an eight and a half, just simply due to the fact that these little clip things are starting to bug. They were starting to get annoying. But once you kind of get a feel for um, for those clips, then it's really not too bad. And I actually, if you guys have bought the McFarlane, uh, what is that guy's name? Lex Luthor with the Superman suit comes with that. Actually put that like a nice cool matte gray over that orange. You can see it kind of still seeping through and it's on the bottom there. But man, that thing has really just turned out to be like a cool throne for really any figure. And it fits so well with like the six inch figure. So you can really just get like something cool like this going on. Like, and then kind of even doing like a deep evil look. And, like, just have him chill in there, just kind of like a Shao Kahn, you know? Something like that. Well, maybe something a little bit... Let's get him a little bit deeper. You can get him a little bit deeper. So he sits way deep into that chair. And then get those sprawled out hands so he can grab the armrests. Something like that. But then just give him that deep, evil look. Look at that. But, yeah. So that is going to be my review on the M. Bison. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I am fairly new to the action figure review game if you guys have any questions on wave three that's coming up i've done videos on all of them that's going to be guile that's going to be cammy it's going to be dj um those are going to be the next ones they should be coming out i want to say probably late may early june maybe as late as july as far as targets concerned <laughs> you probably won't see the pre-orders till fall as far as get those getting uh as far as those getting um you know, honored by the online stores, but you never know. Maybe it starts moving along a little bit quicker, but hey, we're one half of the way on this new line. Actually, I think uh, more than half the way because we I forget Ken actually counts as wave two, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave the video a thumbs up. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. As soon as I hit 500 or 1,000 subscribers, I can live stream. I'd really like to be able to do that. And 
Well, that's it. That's all she wrote. Then, till then, on the next one, guys. Richie Figs. Later.